When asked about his parents, Pavel Goya, the ministry magazine editor, always has precious memories and teachings to share. Even though his dad was a prosperous construction contractor during the Romanian communist era, the family never had a fancy car, expensive furniture, or a big house. Simplicity was their lifestyle. His father would always say, if things were better, we would promote God's work. Those are the treasures we have because we don't take anything except souls to heaven. So let's invest in souls. Once, when they were building a church, Pavel's dad came home with $25,000 after putting on a new school roof. When asked about how much they should return to God, the father said, give it all. And then his wife replied, let's keep 2,000 for the house for emergencies. He agreed and said, okay, keep 10% and give 90%. Sometimes he would give half, depending on the needs of God's work, not their need. He would always say, who gave us the money? Who gave us health? He's going to give us more again. Give it all. Give it to the church. The family heard such statements repeatedly until it was so anchored into their mentality that their children would feel their duty to do the same. Living simply and giving liberally is something from above and should be encouraged even in the early years of a child. It will protect children from many materialistic and consumerist snares. You may give them a small regular allowance, for instance, and teach them to put God first by returning tithe and promise, regular, systematic, percentage-based offerings before meeting any other expenses. According to Jesus, wherever your children put their money, there their hearts will be also. As you worship the Lord with your time and promise, pray for a humble heart that is content with a simple life and satisfied in serving Him. May we put our desires last and God first.